All right, it's back on the uh, clay. I've got both cameras working today, and which is good. And uh, I'm going to continue working on his head and ears and uh, making him age a little with uh, proper wrinkles and saggy skin. <laughs> make his earlobes just a little bit longer because they would have been it'll all make sense later maybe not right now but later I'm giving him a weathered face because uh, he'd have been outdoors a lot more than even modern day people. <coughs> These guys tended to live outside year round. Okay, I'm working on the neck continuously here. I added the trapezius muscle. I'm not making it really strong because he's thin and wiry and probably one reason why he's survived for so long because he's able to move fast, doesn't have a lot of weight to carry. I'm trying to think if I want to add a little vignette down here in the bottom part of the sculpture in the back. But I'm going to have to decide on that at some point because it will add to the cost. This isn't going to be a cheap uh, reproduction cost here. But sometimes you just got to do what you want to do. And damn the, pr the cost, full speed ahead. so to speak. Because you're fulfilling of a vision you got in your head. You can't always think cost. I'm thinking of putting long handles on them and uh, having the neck of the long handle really wide so that all these nice muscles show up in the neck. There's a certain beauty to old age. Man, I'm being so philosophical today, ain't I? This is turning out so much better than the original mountain man piece I did with this head on it. I'm really, really liking what I'm doing here right now. I gotta decide what kind of hair to put on it too. sure I want to even put a hat on him but the hat would add character to it so 
I will decide at some point whether to do that or not. Probably the next day or two. Oh, by the way, I didn't go to both to Livingston today because I had some other stuff come up. I will be going on Friday. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow. So. All right, I've decided to put a hat on him. And I'm giving him a little bit of a rake on the hat. I like to give him a little character. He just looks like somebody who would have a cocky looking hat because he's uh, seen some rough life, but he's survived it. He's been in a few fights. I might give him a couple of scars too. But anyway, I'm just making this out of clay. Um, I'll have to decide the kind of a crown he'll have on the hat. Putting the stick down. This one's a little smaller than that one, but that's because I want the part against the head to be thicker than the part of the hat brim that's away from the head. But this will keep me the same thickness for the brim. Okay, I've got it to down to the level I want it. And the thickness I want. I want to put a little texture on the uh, one side. The side that's going to be under the brim. Because it's a lot easier to do it now than after you get it on the uh, head. Okay, I want to cut a straight line for the, uh, or a straight side for the uh, hat brim. I'm using a file folder metal insert as my straight edge and then I'm making two marks where my where the width of the uh, rim so I keep it the same with my calipers I'm gonna have to call it quits tonight and I'll be back tomorrow I'll probably do his ears and uh, maybe, maybe even start his uh, ear uh, hair and to finish up on his neck and then next week I'll uh, start doing his clothing and uh, suspenders or whatever else I'm gonna maybe maybe bib overalls I don't know I'm gonna have to think about that that's what I like about an old hat. You can have it do just about anything you want it to do. I like this. I like this. Now I gotta make his hair match all this. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.